boys and girls, how are you today? My name is Nikisha Caruthas, and I'm a teacher at the Providence Methodist Early Childhood Institution. I'm very excited this morning to be your teacher. We're going to be learning lots of new things. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This morning, we're going to be embarking on our age three lesson, grade three lesson. But first, I want to sing your song. The pieces p, the pieces p. Every letter makes a sound. The pieces, the pieces, the pieces. Every letter makes a sound. The pieces. I'm giving you a hint, right? Yes, we're going to be learning about a special letter today. But before we continue on the letter P, I want you to sit back and listen to this story. It's called Petty Likes to Paint. Petty is a cute penguin. She likes to paint. Petty paints a penguin holding a pink fish. Petty is drawing a panda playing with a ball. She colored the panda black and white. Petty painted a parrot. She colored the parrot with many colors. Did you like that story? Let me go again. Petty is a cute penguin. She, she likes to do what? Yes, she likes to paint. Petty is painting a pink fish. Yes, she's painting a fish. Petty is joining a panda. Yes, she's joining a panda. Petty is playing with a ball. Petty colored a parrot with many colors. You see the part, the part? Yes, it has many colors. Now when you hear the word paint, pink fish, parrot, panda, and penguin, what sound do you hear at the beginning of those words? Very good, the p sound, yes. Did you know that every letter makes a sound? Yes, and the letter P says p. Yes, it gives a, sound, a soft sound. Let's go together, say p. Very good, one more time. The P says p. the P says p. Every letter makes a sound, the P says, the P says, the P says, every letter makes a sound, the P says, yes, the letter P says, and coming out of my story here, there are many words in my story that begins with the sound. Do you remember any of them? Do you want to try with me again? Okay. What was the name of my story? Yes, the name of my story is Petty Likes to Do What? Paint. Do you like to paint, boys and girls? Yes, painting is fun. And what did Petty paint? Yes, she painted a, a panda. Yes, what was the panda doing? The panda was holding a ball. Very good. Then she painted what? She painted a parrot. No, mm -mm. she painted a pink fish. Say pink fish. See my fish? Yes, it's the color pink. Petty painted a pink fish. Very good. And then she painted a parrot. Very good. You are learning boys and girls. Yes, and she painted the part with many, many different colors. Yes, she used all these colors. Can we identify any of these colors? Yes, I'm seeing the color yellow. I'm seeing the color blue and purple. Yeah, there are many paint colors right here. Right. So Petty was painting. You know, I believe Petty was a pet. Yes, the word pet. Say pet. Pet. The word pet also begins with the p sound. 
Do you have a pet at home? I'm sure you do. Yes. Here's another word that has the p sound at the beginning. Pot. Say with me. Pot. Very good. P-A-T is pat. I can pat my head or pat can be the name of a person. Yes. And the word pat also has the sound in it. Very good. P-E-N. Pen. Yes, I write with my pen. Right. And the word pen also has the p sound in it. Pen. And on my table has as well. Do you know what this is? I think Petty used this brush to do some painting. So this is a paint brush. Yes, Petty used this paint brush to paint the parrot and to paint the, the panda. Mm -hmm. And what was Petty again? Petty was a what? A penguin. Right, Petty was the penguin who painted the panda, who painted the pink fish, and she painted the parrot. Right, you want to see the P sound song with me again? The P says, P. the P says, P. every letter makes a sound. The P says, P. the P says, P. the P says, P. every letter makes a sound. The P says, P. very good. Now, in your homes, do, can you look around your house and identify anything that has the p sound? Do you want to share? Yes. The P in the pot. Yes. P begins with the letter. P and the P says, very good. What else? The pin, P-I-N, pin. Yes, that also begins with letter P. Boys and girls, clap yourselves. You are doing awesome. Very good. And this is what the letter P looks like. Yes, our letter P is made up of lines. Can you see? Yes, it has the vertical line and curve line. Right, and that's what makes up the letter P. Yes, boys and girls. So you are going to take out your craft stuff and I want you to draw something that you remembered that begins with the sound. There's some things that persons love to eat and I'm sure you boys and girls love to eat it too. I wonder if someone is thinking what I'm thinking. Yes, pizza. Mm -hmm. Do you like to eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Pizza begins with the p sound. And there's another one. Many of you boys and girls love to eat it at school. Patty. Yes. Patty also begins with the p sound. So what are you going to do for me now, boys and girls? You're going to take out your blank paper, your blank sheet. Mm -hmm. And you are going to draw something that you remember that begins with the sound from our Petty story, right? Remember, Petty likes to paint. If you don't want to draw it, you can paint it too. Mm -hmm. What are you going to be painting? Are you going to be painting the paintbrush? Are you going to be painting a panda? Are you going to be painting a pink fish? Or are you going to be painting a parrot or a penguin? Or maybe you want to paint a pot or a pizza or the patty. Anything you want to do as long as it has the sound. Yes, because every letter makes a sound and letters makes words, right? And the P says, the P says, 
Come on, mommy and daddy, say it with your students. The P says, right. I wiggle my fingers like this. I wiggle my fingers like that. Hello, hello, and how do you do? I wiggle my fingers like this. I snap my fingers like this. I snap my fingers like this. Hello, hello, and how do you do? I snap my fingers like this. Roly poly, roly poly, in, in, in. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Yes, boys and girls. So we just spoke about a special letter. And the special letter is the letter P. And we said that letter P gives a special sound. And the sound that it gives is the P sound. Yes, a soft sound, not P. P. Right, a soft sound. And do you remember some of the words that I just mentioned that begins with the P sound? Yes, penguin, that's Petty, or she's a penguin. What was Petty doing? She was painting. What was Petty painting? She was painting a panda. I'm going over it because I want you to remember. Yes, she was painting the panda. She painted the pink fish. She also painted the parrot. Yes. And as I said, you are going to do your own little craft, your own little painting, your own little drawing, and you are going to paint something that has the p sound just like petty. Right. That's what I want you boys and girls to do for me right now. And I know you're going to have fun doing it. I know it's going to be exciting. Yes. You're at home engaging in this activity and it's going to be lots and lots of fun. When you're through, you're going to show it to your mommies and your daddies and you're going to say, this is my very own little craft about my little pee. Yes, boys and girls. Did I mention the paintbrush? Yes, also the paintbrush. Okay, stretch your arms up, forward, up, and down, I snap my fingers and I lay them down again. Now at this time, I'm moving away my little piece of, and I'm going into another activity, another exciting activity. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. It looks like a tree made of what hands yes that's what you're going to be doing so you're going to take out your craft stuff and we're going to get ready for our tree the things you need you need construction papers yes these little colored papers you need your construction papers you need your scissors Maybe you need some paint, like Petty. You're going to need your glue. And you're going to need your blank paper. Okay, with the construction paper, boys and girls, you're going to have mommy and daddy help you. So draw your hands. You're going to place your hands on the construction paper. You can use different colors, as many colors as you like. Yes, and look at this color. What color is this? Pink. Very good. Do you remember that word? Pink. It's coming from the letter P too. Yes. So you can use many different colors, boys and girls. So you're going to have, you're going to place your hand on the, on the paper and you're going to allow mommy and daddy to help you. So trace your hand, your hand prints. Then you're going to cut them out and they're going to look just like this. Yes, you're going to use a solid piece for the trunk of your tree. So let me show you what you're doing. So I take a paper, I fold it in half, I get my scissors and I cut my paper in half. So 
So my trunk is a very fat trunk, right? I have my paper with my hand prints and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to trace the cutting of my hand prints. And as I told you, it's going to look just like this. So you're going to cut out as many colors as you like. So let's go along, boys and girls. Come along with me. We're cutting out our hand prints. Isn't this exciting? Yes, I think it is. I think it's very exciting. So remember now, all five fingers should be on your hand. So you have to cut very carefully. Very carefully. You don't have to be in a rush because we want to make sure that we are creating our tree. So I have one, two, and three. And you're going to place them in different positions. And you're going to take your glue and you are going to glue them on the base of your tree or the trunk of your tree. Isn't this fun? Very good. You can have many more. You can have different colors as well. You can put a yellow at this side, a blue at that side. Yes. So you will leave it to dry for about five to 10 minutes before we continue with our tree. Remember, this is the end product of our tree. Now we can be so creative with our tree. We're going to, we can place words in our tree or we can use pictures in our tree. No, because we learned about a special letter this morning, which is the letter P, you could find pictures. Yes, you could research pictures and place pictures that begins with the sound and place it on each fingerprint. Yes, you could have done that. That's a great idea. So those, those pictures that you're going to draw, you could have placed them in the handprint. Yes, you could have done that. Or you could have those words, some of those words that we did, that we discovered this morning. Yes, you could place those words inside the handprint. Could you remind me of one of the words? Petty, yes. I would put petty in the middle. It could be my petty tree, yes. So petty could be one of the words can you give me another P word? Penguin. Yes. I would put penguin on my green handprint. Can I get another word? Parrot. Yes. I could put parrot on my pink print, handprint. Another one. Pink fish. You boys and girls are thinking. Yes. So. I only have five, three handprints here. I want you to have at least 10 on your tree because there are so many words that has the sound. There are so many words. There are so many pictures you can find. So you can place words in your handprints or you can place pictures in your handprints. Be as creative as you like. Yes. You think I should cut out another handprint? I think so too. So I'm cutting out another one because I'm thinking of another word. Yes, so think of another one. Yes, this is very exciting. I'm going to paste my blue 
Can I get another word for my blue? So I have the parrot for my pink and green. I have petty for my red and pink. I have the, the penguin for my green and pink print. And I'm going to put panda on my blue hand print. So let's go again. Panda for the blue, parrot for the pink, petty for the red, and penguin for the green. It's so fun it is to learn about the letter P and use the letter P to do many different things. Yes, we could also use the letter P to play, to play games, to match. Right. Did you know we could use the letter T to match pictures with the word? Yes, let, let us take our craft out of the hair for a second and let's you do that. We could match pictures such as the penguin, the panda, paint, so we can do mat the matching game. So I have three pictures in front of me. I have my paint picture, I have my panda picture, and I have my penguin. No, I want to match my pictures to the word. Panda. Am I correct? Yes. What is this again, boys and girls? Yes. Penguin. And last, what is this? Paint. Paint. Right. So you can play matching games at home with your pictures and your words. Yes, I also have my parrot. And parrot goes with the word parrot. And pink fish goes with pink fish. So we can make crafts using the pictures that begins with letter P or words that begins with letter P. Or we can use pictures to match words. We can play matching games and we can do many sing-alongs to reinforce the sound. So let's recap, boys and girls. What did you learn? Yes, you learned that every letter makes a sound and the special letter we spoke about was the letter P and the P says, very good, the P says, and at the end of today, you should be able to tell someone at least five things that has the sound. Mm -hmm. Panda, penguin, parrot, paint, and paintbrush. Parrot, paint, penguin, and paintbrush. Okay, by now, your hand paint should have been dry. So you're going to cut out the pictures or the word, and you're going to place them in your handprint. Okay, so let me do one. Let's just do one together. I'm cutting out the pink fish. And I said we are going to pick, place the pink fish on which color handprint? We have blue, pink, red, and green. And we're going to place our pink fish on our green handprint. Right, so I'm using my glue, cut out my fish, and I'm going to place the fish on my green handprint. Right. 
You want to cut out the penguin as well? Right, the penguin is going in the middle. Right, because Petty was the name of the penguin who painted all those things. She painted the panda, she painted the parrot, mm -hmm. and she painted the fish. So Petty has to go in the middle. So I'm taking my glue again, and I'm going to pay, place Petty in the middle. Here is Petty. She's in the middle, right? And we have one more to paste. Or panda. Remember now, boys and girls, you could have just pasted your words or the picture. Well, I decide to place the picture. So our panda is going on our pink handprint. Here I'm emphasizing those, those words. Paint, pink, penguin, petty. So look, isn't this beautiful? I have my penguin. I have my pink fish. I have my panda. And someone is missing. The parrot. Yes, the parrot is missing. These were all the characters that were mentioned in the story. Yes. All the characters that came out of our story this morning. And guess what? All of them have something in common. Yes. What is it? Yes. They all have begins with the sound. All of them begins with the sound. So before we go, boys and girls, let's identify the characters that came out of our story and let's reinforce the sound. Penguin, which was Petty, who painted a panda, who painted a parrot, and she painted a pink fish, right? So this is the end of our activity for now. Yes, and remember that learning is fun. Have fun while learning. Yes, have fun while discovering new letters and letter sound. And your letter sound for today was the letter P or letter P. Where is our letter P? Before we go, I want you to remember what the letter P looks like. Yes, you learned about the letter P today. And the P says, Right, it gives a special sound, and there are many objects, there are many pictures, there are many words that give this special sound. The P says, the P says, every letter makes a sound. The P says, the P says, the P says, every letter makes a sound. The P says, like parrot, penguin, Petty, panda, the P says, the P says, every letter makes a sound, the P says, the P says, the P says, every letter makes a sound, the P says, like panda, petty, parrot, pat, the P says, Boys and girls, I enjoyed this session with you. Yes, I surely did. I hope you did too. Remember, complete your activity and you can take pictures, send to your teachers, place it up in your homes and have fun while learning, boys and girls. Catch you later. Bye. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now it's story time. Story time, story time, story time. Yes, story time, story time, story time. When I want to look at my story, I don't want to be distracted because I want to listen. I want to hear 
my story time. Yes, boys and girls, it's our story time. And the name of our story at this time is Summer at Grandma's House. That's the title of the story, Summer at Grandma's House. And it's written by Pauline White and it's illustrated by Wayne Powell. So boys and girls, sit back and listen as we go into our story time. Mom packed the lunch boxes for, for the trip. Jaina placed her torn socks into the, into the grip. The storybooks we can't forget. We will have no time to surf the net. Summer has started. No need to fret. So this is mom packing the lunch kit. And this is Jaina, right? Putting her socks in her grip. Yes. Off to grandma's house we go. Bags so packed. We must slow. We must go slow. The old car coughs as it goes up the hill. <coughs> the car is coughing. Jane and Lee scream at will. Each time the car hits a bump, it's a bumpy ride, boys and girls. Yes, they're going up the hill and the ride is bumpy. Hooray! The car has finally stopped. We chased ahead until we dropped. Look, someone fell out of the car. I guess he was too excited to see grandma. Dad shouts for help to carry the bags. See the dog, how fast his tail wags. While grandma waits with, with open arms, the biggest smile and a bag of charms. The guinea tree still looks the same, but the sweet mangoes is no game. Juices running down my arms with what a bliss. Lick them dry. Not a drop did I miss. I suck the sea completely dry, though my though many mangoes on the ground still lie. Right there having fun eating guineps and mangoes. Look at this little one in the tree. Yes. Grandma's cooking is slim, simply the best. What a taste. You can forget the rest. Curry chicken, roasted breadfruit, gungu soup, tasty and delicious to the very last scoop. Her stew peas and rice are one of a kind. The nicest cornmeal pudding will, will you find with the rice, creamy at the top, washed down with lemonade and sour sauce. We love our summer at Robins Bay, where fun and games will go all day. Hide and seek, jockey ride, river swing, the joy and laughter that day will bring. The summer seems too short for Jaina and Lee and mommy and daddy and me. And that's the end of the story. Now, boys and girls, did you enjoy that story? What was the name of the story? Yes, the name of the story is Summer at Grandma's House. Do you boys and girls have grandmas at home? Yes. So, based on my story, what do you think we're going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about the family. Yes, the family. Now, we have different types of family. And this, at this time, we're going to be talking about three types of family. We're going to be talking about the single parent family. Now, the single parent family can be a parent, one parent in the home with a child or children. So that's a single parent family. Only have one parent taking care of the home, taking care of the child or the children at home. 
Then we have the nuclear family. Now the nuclear family has a mommy and a daddy and the child or children. Yes, so that's the nuclear family. It comes with a mommy, a daddy, child or children. That's the nuclear family. And our last family is the extended family. Now, the extended family is usually a large family, a big family. It has mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpas, uncles, aunties, cousins, yes. So that's the extended family. So in this picture right here, I'm seeing a mommy and I'm seeing a daddy. I'm seeing grandma and I'm seeing grandpa and I'm seeing the children. So that's the extended family. Now, based on our story that I just read, what would you say this family is? Is it a single family with one parent and a child? Or is it a nuclear family with mommy and daddy and just a child or children? Or is it the extended family that has mommy, daddy, grandma, grandpa, and children? Okay. I would say this was a extended family. Yes, but they had grandma, right? They went and spent time with grandma, mm -hmm. right? Some at grandma's house. No, why were they excited to go to grandma? Who was excited to go to grandma, by the way? What were their names? Yes, Jaina and Lee. Jaina was the girl. And Lee was the boy. They were all excited. Even mommy and daddy were excited too. They packed their bags and they went on what kind of ride? Yes, man, they went on a bumpy ride. And what happened to the car? The car was choking, coughing. <coughs> yes, the car was coughing up the hill. And someone was so excited to see his grandma. He, when, when they reached grandma's house, he ran out of the car and he fell. But what did grandma do? Grandma opened her arms to him and she welcomed with some charm. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, she was excited to see him, to see both of them and to see her, her children as well. And what did grandma do afterwards? Grandma cook up a storm. Do you, do you like to cook at home with your family? Yes. There's so many things you can do at home with your family. You can cook, you can go places, you can go to the beach, you can go shopping. You can do so many things. But at this time, because of what is happening in our country right now, we have to be doing a lot of things at home. Yes, but there are a lot of things you can do at home. You can watch televisions together. Yes, you can play games, indoor games, outdoor games. Yes, you can do gardening with grandma. Or if you live on a farm, you can help grandpa out the farm. Mm-hmm. So there are many things you can do with your family. So they were excited to go to grandma's house to look for grandma. Yes, and, and grandma was so excited. She went and she cooked up a storm. Yes. You remember some of the things that she cooked? She cooked roast breadfruit. Mm -hmm. And she cooked gungu soup. Have you ever tasted gungu soup before, boys and girls? It is delicious. Yes. And after they ate all of that, they went in the garden and they picked some fruits. No, two fruits to be exact, I heard in the story. You remember their names? The guinep and the mangoes, yes. Yes, Lee was in the tree eating those juicy mangoes. Yes, and Jane had the guinep in her hand. And afterwards, they went somewhere. They went to the river and they had lots and lots and lots of fun at grandma. Yes, so when you're in a family, no matter if you're in a single family or you're in a nuclear family or you're into an extended family, you can have lots of fun with your family. Yes, you can go places with your family. You can do things with your family, even just staying at home and being together. That is something you can do with your family. And as we go drawing closer to or festive season, you can do so many things at home with your family. Now, one of the things you can do now with me, if you see on my table, yes, I have some Play-Doh. Right, and if you're excited as I am, 
you can use a Play-Doh to make your very own family. Now, I live in a extended family, so I am going to create my own little extended family with these Play-Doh that I have. So, I'm making a person with my orange Play-Doh. So I'm, I'm going to make at least four persons because yes, there's a mommy and a daddy in my family. There's a mommy and a daddy in my family. So that's mommy, mommy's orange. Daddy is the color blue. Remember boys and girls, you're helping me now. Extended, the ones that we're doing is the extended family. So I have a mommy in orange, daddy in the color blue. Then I have my child in the color pink. So there's a girl in the pink. And then I have grandma is also wearing orange. Grandma is wearing orange and grandpa is wearing blue. Right. So at the end of the day, we can do things with our family. So I just made my own little family. I made my own little family. I made mommy, I made daddy, I made a child, I made grandma and I made grandpa. And we all live under one roof together. So that's my extended family. Now be proud of whatever family you are a part of, whether you're a part of a single family, a nuclear family, or an extended family. Love your families, boys and girls. You can use these, you can create your own little family using Play-Dohs, using foot sticks, whatever craft you have at home, you can use to make your own family and have fun doing things at home with your family, boys and girls, because we should love our families and families are the best. Go in, up and down. Breathe in boys and girls and let it out. One more time, in and out. A big one in, and we let it out. Now, boys and girls, we're drawing closer to the end of today's activity. But before we go, I want to talk about something that's very important and should be important to all of you. And it's about being kind. Yes, showing kindness. We should be kind to one another. How can we show kindness to one another, boys and girls? Yes, by being gentle, listening to each other, putting our needs, um, person's needs before our own. Yes, that's showing kindness. Yes, by not saying hurtful things that will hurt someone. Yes, I'm going to be displaying some pictures. I'm going to be showing you some pictures, but I want you to think about how can you show kindness? And you can start from showing kindness at home. From your yes, you can start showing kindness at home. So you little ones who are brothers and sisters, start showing kindness at home. You can't be hitting your brother. You can't be hitting your sister. No, you can't be shouting at each other. That's not showing kindness. Mm -mm. Right. We have to be gentle with one another. Right. So look at this picture. Yes. It's pouring down. You know, we had some heavy rains the other day. Yes, it was pouring, pouring, pouring. No, it's pouring out in this picture. picture. And someone came to rescue this little girl out in the rain. How is this showing kindness? Yes. They came to, he came to share his umbrella with the little one in the rain. That's a form of showing kindness. Yes. We can show kindness. Yeah, boys and girls, I know you're small. As some of you might not know how to tie your lace. And if you're walking on your lace is full, you can fall and hurt yourself. So by showing kindness, 
big brothers, big sister, you can help your little brother or your little sister. Show them how to tie their legs. Yes, ma'am. That's a way of showing kindness as well. Yeah, teach them good things. We can show kindness by giving each other gifts. Yes. And look at this picture. This picture looks like a family as well. Yes, remember what I spoke about the family? Yes, look at this one. Right, so this is a girl is sharing with her daddy. Yes. And this looks like a nuclear family. Yes, they are sharing. And this is another form of showing kindness. This looks like a family as well. Single dad and his son. And daddy shared this apple. You realize that? Yes, daddy shared this, shared this apple with his son. So we can show kindness by sharing, by speaking gently to one another. Yes, by looking out for one another. Mm -hmm. Don't let us not use hurtful words. We should not push, hit, abuse anybody. No, that's not showing kindness at all. Kindness is showing love, affection, sharing, spending time together. And this, at this time, we should be spending lots and lots of time together. Yeah, man, teaching each other things, good things, like tying your legs, how to get dressed, how to button your clothes. Little ones, you want to know how to button your clothes? Yes. If I'm out in the rain and I don't have an umbrella, I can show kindness by sharing. And especially, we're coming closer to a big celebration that we have in Jamaica. Yes. And it's a, it's a time where we should extend kindness more than ever by giving gifts to one. Yes, man. That's how we show kindness. Yes. So boys and girls, based on what I just said about showing kindness, you're gonna start showing kindness at home. It starts from home. So what are the things you can do at home to show kindness? Yes, so you get up in the mornings, and you look at your mommy and your daddy and say, I love you, mommy and daddy, and give them a big hug. That makes them feel special. Right? By showing kindness, you know what you can do too? You can get up in the morning and help to spread your own bed. Mm -hmm. So mommy won't have to be so tired. Yes. That's a way of showing kindness. You know, you can show kindness too by helping to do the chores at home. Yes. You can help to do some chores at home. You know? Remember I said we families does do things together so we can do things at home. Yes. Right. You can share your books. So if I read a story, this story today, and I want to read a new story, but I don't have another storybook, my brother, my sister can help me with their storybook and, and so I can read a new story. So you can, sh you can share ideas. That is showing kindness. Sharing your toys. Yes, that's showing kindness too. You don't have to play with the same toy every day. So if I want to play with my Play-Doh today and Sam wants to do painting, I can lend Sam my paint and I stick with the Play-Doh. Yes, that's showing kindness. If I want to do some art and craft, I want to cut up some papers so I don't want to read a book. Right, I can lend someone my book and I go ahead and do some cuttings. That is showing kindness, right? Kindness takes you a far away, boys and girls. Yes, it's good to show kindness. I show kindness everywhere you go, at home. And when you go back to school, so you're going to practice at home, no, you know? Yes, because when you go back to school, you want your teachers to say, boy, girl, I'm so proud of you. You, you're showing kindness everywhere you go because you're practicing at home. So as of today, you are going to be practicing how to show kindness. Yes, by sharing, by showing love and affection. Yes, by doing things that makes you feel good and makes the person around you feel good as, as well. Yes, you can also show kindness by working together. So what if I, I don't know how to write, but my big brother knows how to write. My big brother can help me, show me how we, how to write. 
write a letter, write words. What if I have trouble spelling my words or I have trouble remembering my letter sounds? You can show kindness by helping someone who doesn't know. Yes, you can show kindness also. What if I don't know how to make a sandwich? Yes, you can ask for help. Right, asking for help and getting help, that's also a way of showing kindness. So we can spread kindness everywhere we go. Yes, I'm spreading kindness right now because I'm sharing with you, boys and girls. So we can share, spread kindness, show kindness everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. So boys and girls, what you can do for me now, you can take a blank piece of paper, get your crayons, Mm -hmm. I know you like to use crayons because crayons is fun to mark and I don't want you to mark on the wall. So you can get your blank piece of paper and you are going to draw a picture showing kindness. Showing kindness. Right. So I have my crayon here and I am going to draw myself showing kindness to my friend Pam. Now Pam is much smaller than me and Pam wanted some apples from the apple tree. Pam wanted some apples from the apple tree. But Pam is so small. Look at Pam. She's so small. I'm the oldest one here, older one here. And Pam is so small, she wanted some apples from the apple tree. And Pam could not reach the tree. So what I went and I got the apples for Pam. So this is my little drawing showing kindness. Yes. So boys and girls, at the end of the day, I want you to take a blank piece of paper, take your crayons, and you're going to draw a picture of yourself showing kindness. And also, you're also going to display kindness at home. Yes, it's, I remember I said boys and girls, it starts from home. Kindness starts from home. So draw your pictures and at the end, practice every day showing kindness at home. Boys and girls, I had fun with you today. I learned so much. I hope you learned as well. Remember to go over all that was said today. Yes. Remember what we did, the letter P and the special sound that it makes. Remember those things. We, I spoke about it, about it over and over, all those things that begins with the P. Yes, we spoke about the different types of family. Yes, the three types of family. We spoke about the single family, the nuclear family, and the blended family. We did our art and craft. We made our little tree, our little, little P tree. We spoke about kindness. We did lots of things today. And at the end of the day, I want you to do all the activities that we have started today, complete it. And then you're going to practice every day now to show what? Kindness. Kindness takes you places, boys and girls. Kindness takes you everywhere. So practice kindness at home. So when we go back into our schools and do our face-to-face, -face, our teachers, our principals, our friends, everyone will be proud of us. Boys and girls, it was a pleasure with you today and catch you later. Bye.